So guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to, like, if you get files on your PS3, this is for the fat PS3, the old one, the backwards compatible PS3. So I'm gonna show you guys how to copy all the data. Like I say, you got music and pictures. Show you guys how to copy it into this. Make sure it's the format is FAT32 though when you format this. That way it'll be able to read it. So FAT32. If you decided, if it's in another format like NTFS, you won't be able to read it. Make sure it's, it's FAT32. 32, 32. So let's do it. So here's the USB. Show you guys first. We're gonna put it into the. PS3. So here it is, the PlayStation 3. Make sure it's on. Put it in one of the USB. There we go. Just, it should read it right now. Then we're gonna scroll to the right. Okay. Almost finished. 96%. It's almost there. So also also do the same thing for the music. I'll probably also do a uh, show you guys how to do the rebuild. Oh yeah, after I do this, I'm gonna show you guys how to rebuild the PS3 or the database. How to rebuild the PS3 database. I think it's kind of similar to defragging your hard drive. So you know it cleans up the hard drive and then it moves around the files together so it's easier to access. I don't know, it's just good for the hard drive. So I think that's one one reason consoles slow down because they don't have the ability to defrag. And plus they're still using the old hard disk drives. You know, unlike the newer solid state drives that doesn't need to be defragged because you know like Solid states, only thing they really need is the trim, tr the trim command, T R I M. The trim command basically, you know, it's, it makes it more, you know, like it, it's, it makes it last longer because you know it doesn't delete a whole cell or a whole cell block of the memory storage. Because it, how solid state drives store data is different from how a solid or how a hard disk drive stores data that's why it's you know this is a different kind of technology and software okay circle everything's copied let's check out the USB device let's see if it copied it no there are no files what there are no titles hey what does that mean okay before I do anything I'm gonna check this out and Remove the USB. Weird. Picture. It says picture, but it says no tiles. That's weird. Okay, how about this? Huh. Let's check the files if it copied it. Okay, I guess it did. I just can't see it in this thing. Hmm. That's weird. It's not showing up here. That's weird. How come it's not showing up? Can I format this device? Oops. Formation. Zero kilobyte size. Free space. Three and three. Huh. It's copied it, but it is not showing. Let me format this thing first before I do anything. What if I do that? Let's see. Theme, settings, music, video. I'm trying to find where that thing is. Network, security settings, sound, display, print, accessory, theme. Okay, I just figured out that 
go here oops and go there I figured out it, it actually copied it so I gotta go to the USB check it okay it's all here so I thought I thought the files didn't copy I guess I was wrong okay so now what I'm gonna do is uh USB device just a second right now I'm gonna copy the music so I'll go right keep going and then here it is I'm gonna go up here's the USB I just want to see if it's detecting it then I'm gonna press triangle and then I'm gonna choose copy wait I want to select everything copy and then X Wait, I want to choose everything though. Playlists. Oh wait. How do you choose all the music? Over here. Choose triangle. Let's see, I'm gonna choose something real quick. Alright. Let's see. I'm gonna copy each one here because I can't do it. Can't choose everything or can copy. Let's try one of these first. Copy, choose that. Okay, it's copying the file. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to each one of these. Do the same thing. Copy, and then choose the USB. Bam, and then this one. Okay, I'll be back. I gotta just copy each one. <laughs> it's gonna take a while because I can't copy the whole list, so I have to go one by one. <laughs> 